Now let's talk about um, the important uh, idea for this one, which is Newton's first law and the notion of your inertial reference. So, okay, so this is the um, last part of the discussion. So your Newton's first law looks like this. An object continues in state of rest or in a state of motion at constant velocity unless compelled to change the state by a net force. So, uh, so ibig sabihin, tama yung prediction si Galileo kanina. Na, na kapag wala kang ginawa dun sa bagay, hindi hihinto or hindi um, magsistart yung motion ng isang bagay. And that's your Newton's first law. So unless there is a force, the object will stay in motion or will be will be uh will be at rest will will be at a state of rest okay so um as i said when an object is at either at rest or moving with constant velocity we say that an object is in equilibrium therefore uh uh meaning that all the forces acting on the object is zero so hindi ko sinasabing walang force ang sinasabi dito dapat nagka-cancel out yung lahat ng forces para masabi mong nasa static equilibrium yung isang object. So there, it can be, it's possible that there is there are forces, but they cancel out for you to get an object that's at rest or that's moving with constant velocity. So yun. So, ang Newton's first law, pwede mo siyang isipin or interpret na definition ng force. That is, kapag may force, what will happen is it will change um, the motion of an object. Okay, so ganun, pwede mo siyang isipin na definition siya ng force at saka uh, uh, for, for a particular motion. So, uh, some interpretations for this Newton's law, um, it says that it's a definition. Hindi siya talaga mo. So, yun. May mga ganung books na nagsasabi. Na. So, yun. And summation of forces equals zero gives you all the components. Since force is a vector, the components also should also um, vanish. So, the summation of forces in X should also be zero. The summation of forces acting on Y should also be zero. Okay? So, yun. So, um, the, the Newton's first law is also known as the law of inertia, where what we define as inertia is the tendency of an object to be uh, to be uh, at rest or to be in motion. Note that inertia is not a force. Okay? Hindi niya sinasabi na yung inertia mag act sa object para huminto or hindi. Wala siyang sinasabing gano'n. Ang sinasabi lang niya is that kapag dumuloy-tuloy yung inertia ng isang object, ay, sorry, yung object para huminto siya or, uh, sorry, yung motion ng object, kapag dire-diretsya siyang gumagalaw or dire-diretsya siyang nakahinto, ang tawag dun sa tendency na yun ay inertia. And that inertia is measured by the mass of an object. Okay? Questions? So, inertia is not a force. So, medyo misconception yan eh. Questions? So, may tanong? May tanong dito? Yeah, sure. Okay. Now, inertia, your truck has brakes, pero apparently, uh, this block of wood here, nag-accelerate pa rin siya relative to the object and medyo nakakatapat siya. Okay. This is a really old beam format, so I believe. I think early, early 2000s din to. <laughs> or, and then, late 2000s, so early 2010s. <laughs> so, yan. Okay. Anyway, then this, there's this thing called inertial frames of reference kasi hindi naman lahat ng objects halimbawa nasa nasa loob ka ng isang kotse or jeep sa wala wala pang ikot saka toki ngayon eh wala kayo sa yung ina yon so do you may experience yung ikot saka toki okay nasa ikot jeep ka let's say and ang um, biglang pumreno yung driver ano mangyayari sa iyo syempre <laughs> syempre paputulak ka pa paano pa, saan ka saan ka tutulakin paharap di ba paharap pag pag pumreno ayon kung pumreno Meron bang nag-act na force sa'yo? Doon sa context na yun. Directly sa'yo, ha? Of course, tatamaan ka ng mga kasama mo, pero uh, let's leave it that. Before 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 that, uh, bago ka uh, matulak sa harap, meron bang nag-act na force sa'yo? Wala. Wala, Wala di ba? Pero bakit ka, huma bakit ka humalaw? Di ba sinasabi ni Newton's first law? na kapag walang force na nag-act sa'yo, dapat hindi ka gagalaw. Sir, gumagalaw ka na, pero walang nag-act, so hindi ka tumigil gumalaw. Kasi, yung frame of reference na meron ka, depende kung saan mo titignan. Kung titignan mo sa outside observer, gumagalaw yung, gumagalaw ka, kasi gumagalaw yung, yung ikot jeep. But if you're at, if you're with the person, uh, with the person, in, kung nasa loob ka rin ng jeep, if you're with the same person, uh, in the ikot jeep, you're at relative to it. 
Nalala nyo relative velocity last time, di ba? So this means that there are only certain um, types of motions where in Newton's first law will be observed. Ang tawag doon ay inertial reference frame. Hindi dapat mag accelerate yung reference frame kung saan um, nag na nag-observe ng motion. So an inertial reference frame is a frame of reference where Newton's laws are valid, not just the first law. Okay? So, in the example, I saw that the, that particular car is not an inertial reference frame. So, in an inertial reference frame, the first law will hold, hold i.e. an object will at rest, will remain at rest. An object in motion will remain in motion. Okay? So, ganon. So, only the presence of non-zero net force accelerates an object for an inertial reference frame. Now, ang tanong ngayon, eh, sino dito yung tama? Sino dito yung tama dun sa situation na sinabi ko kanina? What can you do? What you can do in this context is to add pseudo-force energy. May tinatawag tayo pseudo-force. So, There's also one way to, to um, use still, still use Newton's laws for accelerated reference frames. Pero meron ka ng modification na gagawin. Okay, questions. You will consider the effect of the acceleration of the reference frame itself in your analysis. Kasi kapag hindi mo ginawa yan, kulang yung forces sa mga pagkakam. Questions. May tanong? May tanong? May tanong? Answer. Ah, okay. So, a frame of reference that is moving with constant velocity with respect to an inertial reference reference frame is also an inertial reference frame. So, kung may dalawang reference frames ka na um, one is moving with constant velocity relative to the other and the other is an inertial reference frame, then both of them are inertial reference frames. So, okay? So, yun. So, for example, here, if an if you have, uh, if you're seated on a car, tapos, pag hindi gumalaw yung object habang hindi ka gumagalaw, then the inertial reference frame yan. Pero pag bigo, nagulat ka bigla, biglang, biglang, um, gumalaw yan, ibig sabihin possibly nakasakay ka sa isang kotse na accelerating and therefore this is not an inertial reference frame and it's an accelerated reference frame. The Earth, for example, can be approximated as an inertial reference frame. But strictly speaking, it is not. Kasi umiikot ang Earth. Relative to the Sun, the, the solar system um, uh, moves relative to the center of the, of the galaxy and so on and so forth. But to a good approximation, it is an inertial reference frame. Okay, questions. So, may tanong? May tanong dito? Wala po, sir. Wala, okay. So, for example, here, an object in, um, this accel if you are inside an accelerating train, what happens is that um, this is not an inertial reference frame, it's an accelerated reference frame, and therefore, there is a tendency na gagalaw ka kahit, kahit wala namang force na nag-accel. Similarly, kapag umiikot ang isang object, uh, what will happen is, even though this person is at rest, since there's some acceleration towards the center of the of motion, what will happen is this um, person here will move kahit wala namang force na nag sa kanya. Walang local force na nag sa kanya. Okay? Questions? May tanong? May tanong? May tanong dito? Ganun lang essentially yung difference between an inertial frame of reference and an accelerated frame of reference. Pag may acceleration na nangyayari, either a change in velocity, a change in speed, or change in direction, definite, then, then we can say na accelerated reference frame yan, hindi na yan inertial reference frame. Okay? Questions? Questions? Wala? Nan. Ah, 